Hello everyone, uh, I am Arun. <coughs> so this talk will be on how to do robust regression in the presence of omnibus adversaries. Uh, this is a joint work with Kush Bhatia, Pradeep Ravikumar and Pratik Jain. So let me start with uh, describing a typical learning scenario that we consider in machine learning and statistics. So we usually assume that there is a distribution P, uh, which is typically Gaussian or sub-Gaussian, and from which we are our training and test samples are generated. An implicit assumption that we are making here is that the training samples are representative of P, uh, but in practice we never get uh, clean data. Certain fraction of the training samples could be corrupted. So in such cases, uh, the techniques or distribute uh, estimators developed for uh, Gaussian or sub-Gaussian distributions could be suboptimal. So to handle such scenarios, there have been a lot of work uh, in, the, uh, in studying more uh, realistic data models, such as Huber contamination models and malicious adversary models. Uh, these models allow certain fraction of the training points to be arbitrarily corrupted by an adversary. So, and there are several other various model, ad adversary models uh, which have been studied as well. And all of these vary in the amount of power the adversary has to corrupt the training data. So in this work, uh, we study the oblivious adversary model. Uh, here we assume that the corruptions added by the adversary are uh, independent of the training data. So while this might look like a, a restrictive adversary, uh, this uh, adversary is more suitable to certain applications. So for example, let's say the data is generated from uh, uh, faulty sensor readings. Then in such cases, we expect the uh, corruptions to be independent of the training data. And moreover, we show that uh, studying this adversary model has applications to uh, understanding heavy, uh, it can help us design estimators for heavy tail models as well. So before going further, uh, let me in formally introduce the problem setup. So here we want to study the uh, linear regression problem under the oblivious adversary model. So we assume that true uncorrupted data points, xi comma yi, are generated from this linear model. Uh, here we assume that the covariates xi are sampled from a Gaussian uh, n0 comma sigma. And epsilon i is a dense noise. Uh, w star is the uh, unknown regression vector which we want to estimate. So we assume uh, there is an adversary uh, which is corrupting alpha fraction of the training points, uh, alpha fraction of the responses yi's. And here uh, bi is the uh, corruption added by the adversary, which we assume is independent of xi and epsilon i. So given n corrupted training points from this adversary model, uh, we want to estimate the unknown regression vector w star. So let me now briefly talk about what is known about this problem. Uh, there is one class of estimators uh, which are based on hard thresholding techniques. Uh, while these uh, well, these estimators are consistent in the sense that as n goes to infinity, they can exactly recover the uh, unknown regression vector. Uh, they tend to have a suboptimal breakdown point. Uh, they can only tolerate a small fraction of corruptions. And then uh, there are other class of estimators which are based on convex relaxations. Uh, these can actually tolerate a lot, a lot of a large fraction of corruptions. So for example, these can even tolerate 99% uh, response variable corruptions. But uh, some of these estimators are actually not consistent. Uh, or some, in some cases, these are also computationally expensive in the sense they don't have linear dependence on the number of samples. So the question we ask uh, in this work is this, can we design an estimator uh, which has optimal breakdown point in the sense that it, it should be able to tolerate any constant fraction of corruptions and it should be consistent as well and more, we moreover want it to be computationally efficient, as efficient as computing an OLS estimate. So in this work uh, we uh, show that there is there are in fact estimators which achieve all these three goals. So now uh, let me talk about this estimator, uh, which we call ADA CRR. So this is an roughly this is an alternating minimization technique. Uh, so in each iteration there are two key steps, and the algorithm alternates between two these these two steps. Uh, the first step is the adaptive hard thresholding step. Uh, here we try to uh, identify the set of uncorrupted points in the training data. And the uh, second step is the OLS step. Uh, here we try to, uh, we compute the ordinary least squares estimate on the set of uncorrupted points identified by the first step. So let me uh, talk about the ADA-HT step briefly. 
Uh, so as I mentioned, uh, the goal of this step is to try to identify the set of uncorrupted points in the de training data. So here is how we do it. Uh, we first of all partition the positive real line into intervals of size it. And this it should be appropriately chosen. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it here, but feel free to drop by at our poster to know more about that. And we place the points in these buckets uh, based on the magnitudes of their residuals. Uh, here the W is the current estimate of the regression vector we have. And then we try to find a sparse interval uh, with very few points in it. That is, we try to find a first interval j with few, fewer than n over j points in it. And then we sh say that all the points which lie to the left of this interval are uncorrupted points. And all the points which lie to the right of this interval are uh, corrupted points. And then uh, for the points that fall in this interval, uh, we add random perturbations uh, to their residuals. And then select all the points which fall to the left of the midpoint as uncorrupted points. Uh, so all the points here in green will be output by the ADA HD step as uncorrupted points. So let me briefly talk about two things here. One is the choice of IT. So we choose IT in such a way so as to ensure none of the true uncorrupted points are left out by the algorithm. And I also talked about randomness. Uh, so the reason for perturbing the points the residuals of the points that fall in the jth bucket is that that helps us escape bad fixed points of the hard thresholding operator. So here are the guarantees uh, that our estimator achieves. So after uh, running this algorithm for roughly log n iterations, uh, we can show that the error in the regression vector roughly scales as square root d over n, ignoring the log factors. And you can see that this is consistent. As n goes to infinity, the error goes down to zero. And moreover, uh, the breakdown point, uh, and the error rates here hold for any alpha less than one minus one over log log n. That is, uh, it can tolerate any constant fraction of corruptions as n goes to infinity. So in the remaining time I have, uh, I will roughly talk about how to uh, extend this technique to heavy tail regression. So as I mentioned before, uh, studying this oblivious adversary model can actually help us design estimators for heavy tail regression. So here, uh, the model which we consider is this. Uh, we again assume that the data is generated from a linear model. Uh, but here we assume that the noise epsilon i is a heavy tail, comes from a heavy tail distribution uh, with only bounded delta at moments. So for example, uh, one such distribution we consider is the Cauchy distribution, uh, which doesn't even have a bounded first moment. So most of the existing estimators uh, for such distributions uh, don't even are actually suboptimal, uh, whereas we show that extending our technique uh, to this distribution actually gives us sub-Gaussian rates. So you're saying that it does yeah, that does work. Um, so here is uh, how we reduce this uh, heavy tail problem to robust regression problem. Uh, so although there are no outliers in the data, uh, we consider all the points with uh, noise greater than certain threshold tau to be outliers and then try not to use them uh, in our, uh, while computing the regression vector. And we show that uh, by appropriately choosing this threshold tau, uh, we can achieve, actually achieve the following sub-Gaussian style rates. Uh, although this is not optimal in the log factors, but ignoring the log factors, it's, it's a sub-optimal, uh, sub-Gaussian rates. So that's it, uh, thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, you mean for the robust regression here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I it need not work. Uh, yeah, I think it would be good to say, uh, yeah, I think it should have, because we don't know how heavy the tails are for the distribution, right? So we don't know how many outliers we need to remove from the heavy tail distribution. So we might have to remove like 90% of the points sometimes. So in such cases, it's good to have a uh, technique which works for any constant fraction of corruptions. 
Yeah, radio transmission. Yeah. 